This is an attempt to answer a question related to the PBR terrain paints and the macro texture not showing up. So what you see here is a, um, the salt flats, wherever that's located in the world. Uh, that's a Google Earth, just a screenshot from Google Earth. Uh, that is what I'm using for my base color. As you get closer, you'll see the macro start to draw and then even closer than that you'll see the detail uh, drawing right there now the question was the macro isn't showing up at all so the first thing is look over here where your terrain material texture set properties are you have a base texture macro and detail these are the resolutions if they are set here then that's what they need to be in here so for example base texture all five categories has one base texture we got the base texture that's in the color the base texture that's in the normal the base texture that's in the roughness the base texture that's in the ambient occlusion the base texture that's in the height all five of those need to be 2048 by 2048 if that's what you got specified here and just like base texture each one of these five categories has a macro so you got a base color macro color you got a normal macro you got a roughness macro you got an ambient occlusion macro you got a height macro all those macros need to be set to the resolution this is set to if that's 1024 by 1024 then all five of these need to also be set to 1024 same thing with detail all five categories has a detail now you don't have to use detail you don't have to use macro you can get by with just the base texture in fact all you absolutely have to have to see something at all is a base color texture map and an ambient occlusion base texture map. Everything else can be empty and you'll still have a texture. Same thing for the normals. I mean, I'm sorry, the same thing for the macro and the same thing for the detail. If you only want to use, if you don't care about the normal maps and the roughness map and the height map, all you have to put in here is the base color macro and the base color macro ambient occlusion or the base color detail and the base color detail ambient occlusion now if you want to use normals then you can't just add the normals you have to add the normals in addition you have to add the roughness and the height they all just kind of go together and you may be wondering why are these red it's because they are proper grayscale the roughness the ambient occlusion except for that it's wrong and the height maps all these are red because they're all grayscale also your macro may not be showing up if you are trying to use a DDS file format these PBR terrain paints work great with uh, JPEGs and PNGs. Also, you need to make sure that they are cropped one to one and that they are power of two. Power of two being one of these by one of these. 512 by 512. 2048 by 2048. 4096 by 4096, and so on. I don't believe the game supports 16K for terrain paints. If you are using 8K, you probably still are not seeing the full benefit. If you go into your terrain, actual terrain here, and go to the inspector, the maximum base texture size is 4096 that you can enter here. So I don't know if you're going to really see the benefit. I'm using this blue circle to explain the macro distance. 
Same thing applies for detail distance. It's not exact, it's just to give you an idea.